snipers from a polling unit, 008, and some hoodlums have attacked this polling unit. You can see that glass, they smashed the glass. Um, the voting was going right, going good, until this began to happen. Um, the accreditation paper, everything torn in shreds. Uh, the voting paper, all torn in shreds. And I understand that the INEC officials had to take to their heels. Um, even the policewoman that was attached to this place, I understand, had to um, run away uh, because of the hoodlums who attacked this building. If you look at this stretch of the street, these are the number of people that have been disenfranchised from voting, and those who have voted, their votes, their votes may not count because it's all been torn away and turned into stress. I'm going to talk to someone who can give us um, uh, a valid information about what happened here um, earlier. Can you tell us what happened, please? Um, okay, today we came to um, cast our votes as, um, you know, good citizens. But then, before we knew, they had, we had talks coming here with, like, tools, canes, they were chasing people away from there. They kept on saying things like, if you're not voting APC, get out of here, we're going we're gonna to kill you, we're going to beat you. They, they started scattering everything. They scattered everything here. They were threatening people. They were breaking glasses. They were throwing stones, cussing a mess. People started running from place to place because they were scared for their lives. Honestly, because if you want to you, you say, okay, yeah, you want to die for your country, it's Nigeria even worth dying for. No, but, but no, no, the Nigeria is worth dying for. But the question to ask is, what happened to the security person that was here uh, when all of this was happening? Well, the security per personnel, they were not of much help, honestly. They're here to, like, you know, um, make sure everyone is safe during election. They were not of much help. So what has happened to your ballot? What has happened to your votes? Um, it's, it's going to count. It's not going to count, as we, as we all heard. It's not going to count. Because... Okay, yeah, because they've torn the materials, and then um, at the end of the day, the police, um, the police, um, you know, the, the, the police, yeah, they, they came, they, they went away with the, with the INEC officials, and also with our beavers. So that they said the, the, um, the votes up that, that were being cast here before the, um, before the talks came would not be counted, meaning our votes here are invalid, which is very, very wrong, because we all came out in one. Some people even flew into the country to, to vote. Now our votes are, are being invalid, just because of talks that they destroyed everything. Okay, so, so, so this is the situation here on Waida County Street. Um, we thought that we are not going to run into a situation where we will find ballot box snatching. We had reported up up to now that there has not been uh, ballot snatching, but we, we've just reported one now here um, off Ago Palace Way, where ballot box has been snatched and um, the votes here um, they have been cancelled by way of um, being turned into shreds. And, and, and I mean, totally all the people that I have here with their, with their businesses might not be able to continue this exercise because the INEC officials, both ad hoc and, 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 and the, uh, those that have come to carry out this exercise today, have all fled. And it raises the question again, what we've been saying all day. We knew that places like this was going to be volatile. Now, so what happens to close to 200 to 150 people I'm told in this unit that try to vote? You can see this is INEC material. There's no INEC official here to take care of it. This is an INEC, uh, this, this, uh, this, this is a, a ballot box. This is another ballot box. It, nobody here to count it. Nobody here to take, um, take, uh, take care of it. There's a caretaker here as well, as it were. All the papers are on the floor. It, it, it's a sad situation here in Agopa last way. Now, so. We violence also marred the election in other parts of the commercial city of Lagos, as captured in this eyewitness video. One down, one down. 